Hey everybody, it's Justin from Bittnerbuilt, and this is a pretty special episode. Xtool invited me out to CES to interview their CEO, Jason Wang. Uh, if you know anything about Jason, uh, he grew up in a rural community. He really wasn't exposed to technology until he made it to university. And he spent all of his time after that creating companies that foster creativity, that uh, help people kind of take their ideas and turn them into reality. So, uh, pretty interesting guy, a maker at heart. Uh, which I love that myself. So uh, we're going to talk about uh, current models with Xtool, maybe a little bit of what's going to be coming in 2025, uh, and a little bit about customer service with Xtool and how that's really a big focus for them going forward this year for 2025 as well. So please enjoy. So we're here at Xtool's booth at CES, and CES is the biggest technology show in the country. It's, it's a privilege to be here, and we have this amazing booth, and we're joined by CEO and founder Jason Wang. Thank you so much for meeting thank with you, me. Thank you, thank um, you. You know, Xtool is a company that, it helps customers form their own businesses. Yeah. Which, that to me, is, is something that I would be proud of. Apart from the, the productivity of your machines and things, yeah, yeah, you know, what does that mean to you that uh, your product is basically a business in a box for some people, or a side hustle, or something that's going to help them kind of cultivate their own dream of owning a business? Yeah, so actually, to be honest, uh, to help a lot of people start their own business is not the original point mm -hmm. that uh, we started X Tour. So the point that we started X Tour is to help people to create. Okay. So we think people have a lot of ideas. They want to do something, create something in physical world, mm -hmm. but they are lack of tools. Yes. We think that like laser tools are very, is a very powerful tool. So, so we just want to make laser tools easy to use and uh, easy to accessible for everyone. Mm -hmm. But later we found a lot of customers not only create for themselves, they create they create a, a something that they can sell. Mm -hmm. So this. This is also a surprise for us. So we are so proud that we can help people to create and in the same time, help people to make, make some money and uh, start their own business. It's, yeah, uh, yeah it's, uh, we are so proud of it. Oh, that's fantastic. So when you started Xtool, you originally had your first company, which is MakeBlock, and that is you know a STEM educational company yeah. where you're able to make robots. Um, when you were doing that company, what did you, what came to you and said, we need to do lasers. Um, so when we started to do make blog business, so we don't consider ourselves as, as a education company or as a robot company. Mm -hmm. So we actually we are aiming to help kids to create. Mm -hmm. So we provide some blogs for them to create robots. Mm -hmm. But uh, we find that, but we, we, we know that this solution is not a perfect. Kids have a lot of different ideas, but the blocks, I think, limit their imagination. Okay. So we think what's we continue to to find the the, the better solution. We think the better solution is is to give them tools. You know, tools can give them more freedom to create. Mm -hmm. So that's so in the in in the make block product line. Actually, we have. Later, we have a laser cutter. Yes, the laser box. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So that's that's why we uh, why we started to uh, produce laser tools for students. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, then the ethos has been creativity and creation. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. So let's play a little game here. You know, I'm I'm a business owner and entrepreneur too. I've invented products, and so when I look at the X Tool line, I see a path that you took. So let me guess and tell me if I'm right here. Uh -huh. So when you started Xtool, you came out with the D1 yeah. and the M1. Yes. And those machines were built to be affordable, accessible machines that were for the masses. So yes. it was out there to, to get the most people into a new field where a lot of people weren't in laser engraving other than high-end professionals, right? Yes, yeah. And so then after you've put those out, you looked at things and you said, there's a lot of people who go to craft shows and we need a portable option. Yeah, and yeah, So then yeah, you, you came out it. with the small F1. Yes. And so now you have an option to be able to actually 
perform the engraving in front of customers out on the site. And of course, then you added in, you know, the ability to mark metals on there as well. Yeah. And then after that, you went for power. So you went for the P2. And so now you have something that, you know, is more in my field in woodworking where like, all right, now I have a big, powerful machine. Yes. So at that point, you've kind of completed the core laser lineup. And you said, we've learned a lot. Let's go back and make it all better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That, that's the way. <laughs> so then you have the S1 that came out. And the S1 to me is very much the best first laser for anybody. That's how I look at the S1. Ah, oh, thank you. So it's almost like the D1, but you brought in a lot more safety features and more positioning options. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you said, okay, well, let's let's take a look at that F1 and let's make it an Ultra. <laughs> this is my favorite machine. So oh. the F1 Ultra, even though I love my P2 and P2 is what I use the most, if it will fit, I will use the Ultra first. <laughs> Just because of the speed of yeah, you know, yeah. the you power PCC, of the lasers right, right. and the yeah. speed from it. Um, and then, of course, you upgraded the P2 to the P2S, taking into account, I would assume, a lot of customer feedback yes. as far as being able to maintain it for your daily usage, um, increasing the fan speed, increasing the air, uh, really upgraded the speed of the machine, too. Yeah. Which yeah. is really nice. And then you came out with the F1, or I'm sorry, the M1 Ultra kind of making the ultimate crafters machine where you have just, what I really like when, when I, I, I've had the M1 Ultra, I haven't put out my video on it, but what I've seen in that video is I've seen a lot of innovation specifically in that machine. Hmm. So for example, in the S1, you have modules, which yeah. is great, but you do have to use two little screws to take them out. So in the M1, you now have a dovetail with a lever in there. So it's a small little thing, but definitely a quality of life upgrade for people just to make it easier. Yeah, you got it. Um, and then the way that you made an all one piece molded riser base for that one, as opposed to an assembly process uh. for that base. So I just keep seeing things and things coming along. How is, well, so first, how did I do on my progression? Yeah, nearly 100% right. You know, okay. you know, you guess all the way okay. that we are sinking. Okay. Yeah. Good. yeah. So make a good product, put it out, and now go back and make it better. Yes. Okay. Well, so then where does that leave us for 2025 now? So I'm sure you can't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so you can see during all the product development process, actually we have several main directions. Mm -hmm. So first is uh, we, uh, we continue to uh, because we know that the people use laser tools to create, mm -hmm. but we uh, we con we continue to expand the, the possibility that the laser tools can do. So uh, so we continue to add the power, add more functions mm -hmm. in the in our tools. Okay. So make people have more freedom yes. to create. Mm -hmm. So that's one direction. Another direction is to make it easy to use. So you see a lot of design on hardware, on mm -hmm. software, all these designs is to help to lower the barrier of using a laser machine. Yeah. Another direction is to make it safe and clean. Mm -hmm. So you can see we have a lot of features on, on safe, on safety, and we have a lot of features on, uh, on clean, like uh, we, the newest uh, AP2, our purify, air yeah. purify AP2. So that's another direction. Mm -hmm. So in the year 2025, sure, we will have a very uh, exciting update on the mm -hmm. some of our existing product okay. line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you will see maybe P series, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and uh, we will also end in some new area. Okay. So laser tools is a kind of a tool that help people to create. But, um, but it's just one kind of tool. Yes. People have a lot of creations. They need oh, yeah. a different tools. Mm -hmm. So you will see we have some totally new, different tools uh, that help people that. to create. <laughs> yeah, especially for some uh, small business owners, we will give them all way. Uh, we will give them more way to, to to make some uh, better business. So take me for example, before I had my first laser, I actually had a CNC machine, and I thought that that was the best tool I could possibly get as a woodworker. 
And then when I got my first laser, I assumed it was just going to be an add-on. Yeah. And then I realized, oh no, this actually has replaced my CNC in a lot of what I do. I still use it for certain things, but probably 60, 70% now, I go to my laser instead of the CNC because of how fast, how clean, um, yeah. The you can get contrast where obviously with a CNC you can't get that. So And it gave me a huge array of materials that I could work with that I couldn't work with over there. So it's very good to hear possibly more materials coming our way. Yeah, yeah, more materials. <laughs> because that just opens up a huge world of more products you can make and more services you can offer to your customers, yeah, which yeah, is nice. Yeah. So talking about that, Xtool to me is very much the leader in innovation in the laser space. And so that's obviously why you can't tell me a lot of what's coming because there's a lot of other companies that are watching what you do for what they are going to do. So how much R&D is devoted at the company? Like, is there a large portion of R&D going into the development of everything um, as opposed to, I mean, you have several hundred patents behind that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So our R&D people, I think uh, it, it's about um, about 700 to 600, uh, to 800. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and for myself, I think uh, most of, of my time mm -hmm. is spent on R&D. So I spend a lot of time discuss with uh, with our engineers, with our product managers to to, mm -hmm. to solve problems mm -hmm. and uh, to uh, to discuss the new features and our new machines. Yeah, and uh, this that's uh, in my uh, during my uh, daily work. That's my exci yeah. most exciting part. You okay. know. Okay. We know that a lot of competitors are ending in this area, and um, we, the only way that we keep our keep our position is to so first is uh, we need to be very fast. We, our action need to be move fast. Yeah. And uh, another way is to innovation. You know, innovation is hard. Very and, hard. Uh, need a lot of resources, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they need a lot of that. There's a lot of uh, risk. So now we have uh, so many R&D people, we can try a lot of new way. Some may fail, but a little will be a success. And uh, that's, I think that's enough. Yeah, I so in great. our company, we, are, we, we encourage innovation and uh, we are tolerant to failure. You know, that's very, I've gotten the Apple feeling from Xtool because, you know, you, create the software and the hardware, which we'll talk about the software in a second. Uh -huh. You care about the aesthetics of your products, and you're trying to heavily invest in R&D to stay in the front of your field, because otherwise you're just one of those other ones that are over there, and not Xtool. Um, when we're talking, I, I heard you mention that you're gonna be opening a US facility. Yes, yes. And so will the... that facility be um, obviously, it'll be American customer service, I'm sure. Sure. But sure. will there also be like R and D and other divisions there as well? Yeah. So we 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 already opened our office That's in okay. Mountain View, but it's under construction. In, uh, uh, our people are working in uh, in other place, but our own office is under construction. Okay. And. Um, and so for sure, it will be, we will provide the local support. Mm -hmm. So we know that our customer support before is not that good. We have very good product, mm -hmm. but, but compared with the product, our service is not that good. We know it. And, uh, and this is my uh, most important thing this okay. year, priority, mm -hmm. the top priority. So we, uh, we will, uh, continue to uh, to improve our service another function is uh, we will we we will do a lot of uh, user activity we okay. meet up with we we know that the community our users they want to see our people see our machine see the demo so we will we will that will be a lot of chance for our people to face to face to communicate with our customers oh, right so and uh, uh, another thing is that uh, we, will, we, will, we will have some people to collect people, uh, our users' demand. Okay. So understand the users' needs, mm -hmm. and uh, then we will better to develop the features that people, that people want. I think a lot of people out there, that's a great thing for them to hear. 
having customer service that's local for us. Um, I'm really excited to see what you come up with, with in 2025. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I it love Xtool. You know, I have all of your machines. Thank um, you. So, you know, I, I congratulate you on how far you've come so fast. Yeah. Um, so, it's only three or four years X2 will become uh, come to this position, but there is still a lot of way, a lot of things that we need to improve. We know that. And the, during the way, I think our customers, we have very nice customers. Very much. Yeah, they give us a lot of feedback mm -hmm. and uh, they are very nice to, to our brand, to our product. Sometimes the product may have some problem, you know, hardware product products sure. is very complex. A lot of parts, mm -hmm. there may be some failure, some problems, but we find our customers are so patient, are so nice. Yeah, so I think of, a very important uh, reason that uh, why X Tour can be uh, can be here can be this kind of uh, scale. So we wish to thanks to our customers, very nice customers. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. All right, well, Jason, I won't take up any more of your time. I thank, thank you so you. much for meeting thank with you. me. Make sure, of course, you check out Xtool at xtool.com or, I mean, internationally. It's, <laughs> I have a million links for Xtool, so we'll put them down below. Thank you. Well, that was my interview. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I also have two other videos that I'm putting out on CES itself. So I have CES day one and day two when I'm walking around the show floor looking for cool new tech and things that I think my audience might enjoy, uh, specifically tools, smart home, um, you know, outdoor yard type of equipment, things like that. So I hope you'll click the links down below. And as always, stay safe in the shop. I'll see you in the next one.